Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's Deb and Mum, live at one. Isn't it, Mum? It is. <laughs> all right, ladies. Um, I hope you're all well. Not such nice weather at the moment, so me and Mum are indoors today with our dogs. And just while we're waiting for a few people to come on. Oh, there's one person watching. Say hello if you're on. I'm going to introduce you to some of our dogs. <laughs> This is our there you new go. doggy. This is our baby who's just come home from big school. This is Bob Job. He's a working cocker. He's a very naughty boy, aren't you, Bob? Look. Yes, There's Silver. Naughty. She's looking for food. <laughs> Ruby is sulking and sleeping there. Good afternoon, Leslie. Who else we got? Oh, we've got Tag under the table here. There you go. There's Tag. Tag. There he is. He's got a ball. Oh, has he got something in his gob? Okay, where's our Reggie, Mum? Oh, there's Silver. And where's Reggie? There's two people on. Good afternoon, good afternoon. We're just waiting for a few more to come on. I don't know Reggie's Reggie. disappeared. He's probably gone upstairs. Hi, Carnan. He's here. He's here. Oh, look, here's Reggie. So that's our gang. Where's Reggie? Reggie. There's little Reg. So there you go. So we're at home today. Hi, Lana. Your daughter's on here. Hi, the winners. Lana. The winners. The winners. I reckon that was your fault because you... Kept them down, kept putting them last, so they worked harder. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Everybody. All right, ladies, so I've just introduced you to the gang. And I'm going to turn you around. So, this afternoon, we've got something a little bit different for you. And I thought, seeing as we finished the uh, February challenge, and wasn't it a good challenge as well, I'm going to stay on the team theme. So, to, so what I did was, I asked... All the coaches and the admin and Mark and Jane to give me a couple of questions for a how well do you know the team quiz. You've got quite a few on there. How many dogs do I have? Carl and we have two, four, five at the moment. <laughs> we did have six, but my sister took one home. <laughs> so we've got five at the moment, yes. And we've got a kennel block, but they all live indoors. <laughs> There's Bobby there right now. Look at him on, on the chair. <laughs> yeah, so what I did was, ladies... I asked the coaches and some of the admin and Mark and Jane to give me a couple of questions. And we got two rounds for these, this quiz. So make sure you've got pen and paper ready. Round one, born winners, us yellows. Yeah, all right, Lana, don't rub it in. <laughs> yellows won. We come second, though. We did quite well. <laughs> yellows won, no. Yeah, so we've got two <laughs> rounds. So we've got a truth or a trash round, which is basically a true or false round. And then we've got... A multiple choice round. Well done, you. They're all very cute. They are very cute, Carnan, but they're a pain in the arse sometimes. Especially Bobby. Bobby. Oh, God. <laughs> he's come back from big school, no different act no. before he Wasted went. our money. <laughs> Wasted our money. <laughs> right, so we've got a truth or trash go. round, and then we've got a multiple choice round. Oh, we've got five people on. Say hello if you're on, ladies. We've got Lana, Carnan, Leslie. All right, so we've got two rounds, 11 questions on each round. So, there's a few of you on. I think we're going to get ready to start in just a sec. So, as I say, the first round is a truth or trash round. So, you have to decide if what the statement I've told you is truth or a load of trash. All right. Hi, Sarah. Oh, Sarah's on my pal. Oh, hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. All right. So, we're going to get going. I'm going to give you the answers to both rounds at the end. I have a 40-year-old human at home. I could say the same. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a human. I've just got loads of dogs, Carl. And they're probably better because you can shut dogs out when they're naughty, can't you? You can't do that with an husband or a, uh, a partner. I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> Believe you me, I've uh, tried. Maybe I'll call him Bobby. <laughs> hey, Nan, Sarah says. Hi. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get going with our truth or trash round. And as I say, I'm going to give you the answers at the end. So I hope you're all ready with your pen and paper. So we're going to kick off with a statement about Jane. Our lovely founder and our leader and our boss. When Jane was young, she was in the Guinness Book of Records for the longest headstand in her age group. Is that truth or is it trash? So when Jane was young, she got in the Guinness Book of Records for the longest headstand in her age group. You've got to decide if that's truth or trash. <laughs> OK, that's question number one. Question number two, and she's on our Sarah. It's ah. about Coach Sarah. Coach Sarah used to model in the daily sport. 
Mm. Is that true or is it trash? Or is it trash? Mm. Who knows? <laughs> All right, next question. We've got seven on. Say hello if you're on. Hello. Mark once appeared on Blue Pizza. That's incredible. But we don't know if it's true. No, we don't. And we don't know if it's trash. <laughs> is that? It could be incredible or it could <laughs> be trash. <laughs> is that truth or is that trash? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorry. a question about Carla, our lovely membership lady. Carla has a bearded dragon as a pet. Mm. Truth or trash. or trash. All right. I've just got Bobby come along. Say hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Okay, question five. Coach Katie once trained yes, as a nurse right. before going yes. into fitness. Truth or trash? So Coach Katie once trained as a nurse... Before going into fitness. Truth or trash? Another question. Question six. Michelle, our lovely sales manager, once had to be rescued from her loft. Truth or trash? Or trash. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right. Moving on to question seven. I hope someone... I hope they're doing this. I was just wasting time. <laughs> You are taking no. You are answering the questions, aren't you? Are doing aren't you? This, aren't you? Yes, please, please. All right. So, question seven. Coach Tony has two nephews. Truth or trash? Or trash. Question eight. Staying on the coach's theme. Coach Lucy has a dog called Freddie. Truth or trash? Does Coach Lucy have a dog? Called I'm Freddie. Freddie. Oh, I'm glad you're playing, Carnan. One person's playing. At least Carnan's playing. <laughs> are you playing, Lana? Flipping a coin, are you, Leslie? <laughs> Best way to do That's it. That's all right. Anyway. All right. So we got to Coach Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely Bobby. Bobby's in the way now. Go away, Bobby. Okay. Coach Nicola gets led astray by Donna Pennell on Nights Out. Now, I think this is true. Coach Nick's such a good girl. But is it truth or trash, do you reckon? Coach Nick gets led astray by Donna Pennell on nights out. So basically, Donna Pennell gets Coach Nick absolutely rotten on nights out. Truth or trash? Okay. Question 10. Coach Deb, me, once... <laughs> Mystic Mum. <laughs> Truth or trash? Did Mystic Mum run over Coach Deb? As if I would. Truth or trash? And our final question. Being a bad influence, that's a hard one, not. <laughs> well, you never know, Carnan. <coughs> Truth or trash? All right, our last question on our Truth or Trash me round. Me again, me again. Now... Mystic Mum once wrapped sellotape all round her head. Truth or trash? As if I do that. All right, ladies. So, that's the first round done. You had 11 questions there. You had to answer truth or trash. As I say, we're going to go through the answers when we've done the second round. And again, 11 questions. But this time, you've got to decide if the answer is A, B, or C. It's a multiple choice. That's it. So, first question. Go on. My... What? Favourite? Favourite oh. smoothie is either A, tropical, B, oaty banana, or C, strawberry. There you go. So, Mum's favourite smoothie is either A, tropical, B, oaty banana, or C, Strawberry. There you go. Just one. Number two. Mark has had how many haircuts this year? Is it A, two, B, four, or C, five? 
I'd have said none. Judging by the state of his hair, we do. <laughs> I don't know him. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, he didn't look like he'd had a haircut, did he? I see him last week. Yeah, mum's yeah. dissing Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mark's had how many haircuts this year? A, two, B, four, or C, five? There you go. Now, Jane competed in the uh, World Weightlifting Championships, Olympic World Weightlifting Championships three years ago in Budapest. But where did, what place did she come? Where did she come? Did she come A, first, B, sixth, or C, sixteenth? So that's where did Jane come in the World Olympic Weightlifting Championships? Was it A, first? Was it B, Sixth, or was it C, 16th? I think it's brilliant that she He's had a haircut. <laughs> Who's had an haircut, Leslie? I don't think so. <laughs> well, I don't know who cut his hair, but they weren't an hairdresser. <laughs> Poor old Mark. Mind you, he's looking like Joe Wicks, apparently. Is he? <laughs> All right, so question four. Coach Tony called her dog Belle because, A, she thought she was beautiful, B, she wanted to call her Bo, but she couldn't spell it. <laughs> or C, she just liked the name. So that's Coach Tony called her dog Belle, A, because she's beautiful, B, because she couldn't spell Bo, or C, because she just liked the name. <laughs> Lana, Lana should be exempt from this because she's fan with tongue. <laughs> All right, so now moving on to Coach Sarah. Coach Sarah wow. will get this one. You'll know this one, Sarah. <laughs> Coach Sarah has how many Sweaty Betty sports bras? Is it A, 12, B, 25, or C, 41? So how many Sweaty Betty sports bras does Coach Sarah have? Is oh, it A? I only have two. 12? <laughs> I've got sports bras. <laughs> <laughs> B, 25, or C, 41. Okay. Question six. Carla, our lovely membership lady, used to teach A. Pole dancing. B. Aqua aerobics. Or C. Pilates. So did she teach A. Pole dancing, B. Aqua aerobics, or C. Pilates? Okay. Number seven. Coach Nick's favourite band, I think this is easy, is A, go on, <laughs> A, McFly, B, One Direction, or C, Take, take that. that. What do you reckon, Bob? What do you reckon? You reckon it's McFly? Coach Nick. One Direction or Take That? What do you reckon? He don't know. He <laughs> don't know. Right, okay. Question eight. Michelle, our lovely sales lady, has a favourite colour. Is it A? Oh, go away, <laughs> for goodness Indigo, sake. B, red, or C, leopard print. So what's Michelle's favourite colour? Indigo, A, red, B, or leopard print, C. Okay. Now, next one, moving on to Coach Katie. Coach Katie has worked abroad in which countries? Is it A, Andorra and Spain, B, Sardinia and Andorra, or C, Spain and Sardinia? Where is Andorra? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure, actually. We'll no, have to I ask don't. Coach Katie. Yeah, we'll have to ask her. So is it A, Andorra and Spain, B, Sardinia and Andorra, or C, Spain and Sardinia. I'm not very well travelled. Where has she worked abroad? There you go. No. Question 10. Coach Lucy... This is quite interesting. ...has been caught in how many earthquakes? I haven't been caught in any. No, me neither. Is it A, two? Is it B, four? four. Or is it C, six. six? There you go. How many... Earthquakes has Coach Lucy been caught in? She's been to some dodgy countries, she? Mm. Is it A, 2, B, 4, or C, 6? Okay, final right, question. Now, 
This is a final question. Final question, yes. Coach Deb once trained A, Mark Wright, B, Rod Stewart, C, Teddy Sheringham. Teddy Sheringham. So, I once trained a famous person, but was it A, Mark Wright, B, Rod Stewart, or C, <laughs> Teddy Sheringham? <laughs> there you have it, ladies. 11 questions, two rounds. So, I hope you've got all the questions. If anybody hasn't or missed a question or you want me to repeat any, let me know. I would have gone none too. Yeah, me, was that the haircut one, Lana? Yeah, I would have gone no haircuts for Mark, <laughs> but there you go. You never know. <laughs> all right, have ladies. To wait to see. <laughs> so, no, Sarah, I can't give away anything at the moment. We are now going to go on to the answers. So I hope you've got all your questions and your answers down. So, we're going to go back to the truth or trash round. Bloody dog of mine. Look, it's looking in the washing for something to eat. <laughs> Bloody thing. Typical Labrador, that dog. Stop it. Shut up, Reggie. Reggie's had enough now of the questions. He's getting bored. Start parking. All right, so we're back. Anybody at... want a dog? <laughs> got a few. <laughs> I missed them all. I was in a meeting. So, if you um, watch them back and you don't want to know the answers, you better switch off now. And play it back, okay? Because I'm about to give you the answers, all right? So if you don't want to know the answers, you want to listen to it from the beginning, you need to cut it now and listen again. Otherwise, stay with me for the answers. All right, ladies. So truth or trash round? Da, 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 da. Question one was when Jane was young, she was in the Guinness Book of Records for the longest headstand in her age group. Was it truth or was it trash? It was trash. It was trash. She can do bloody good headstands, though. Can she? Yeah, she can. I would have said, I would have yeah, believed that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Question it's a two. lot to get in the Guinness Book of Records, isn't Yeah, it? but she's bloody good at them. Mm. <laughs> All right. I have one dog that is not the washing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, question two was Coach Sarah used to model in the daily sport. Truth or trash? It's true. It's true. But it's I must good, just it? add that she wasn't a page three model. Although she was, <laughs> she could have been. She just modelled clothes. She never got a, got her tits out. <laughs> she might have done. You don't know. She's just well, that's what she told me that. anyway. Yeah, well, she's just telling you that. <laughs> All right. Go away, Bobby. Bobby just loves to be involved. All right. Question three. Yeah, Mark Bobby. appeared. Yeah, look at that. Mark appeared on Blue Peter. Was that truth or was that trash? It was true. It was true. As a young boy, Mark appeared on Blue Pizza with his dad, who was, quite funnily enough, a police dog handler, which I found quite interesting because I wanted to be a dog handler, but I failed the exam. <laughs> yeah, I? you did. Yeah, I remember that. I was totally traumatised by the whole thing. <laughs> I nearly gave that one away, by the way. Sorry. Uh, okay, you did, you did, actually. Okay. Question four was Carla has a bearded dragon as a pet. True for trash. Trash. Trash, I'm afraid. I don't know if she even has a pet, but she definitely doesn't have a bearded dragon. Now, Coach Katie trained as a nurse. True or trash? That's true. It's true. Coach Katie actually trained as a paediatric nurse. Before so if she anybody got has fitness. any problems, go and Fancy see her. Coach Katie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question six. Michelle, our sales manager, once had to be rescued from her loft. Was that truth or was that trash? That was true. It was true. <laughs> She was up there for hours and her sister had to come and rescue her because she's petrified of heights and she couldn't get back down. <laughs> I love that, Michelle. I think that's great. <laughs> I'd do something like that. <laughs> OK. Question seven was Coach Coney, Tony has two nephews. True or trash? Trash. Trash. Lana would have known that. She's got one niece and, and one, one nephew. nephew. All right. Question eight was Coach Lucy has a dog called Freddie. Mum? No, she doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> Her dog's name's Finley. Close. But it's not Freddie, so that was trash. Question eight was trash. Question nine, Coach Nick gets led astray by Donna Pennell on Nights Out. Now, this one, I would have said was true. But it's not. Unfortunately, Coach Nick actually leads Donna Pennell astray. <laughs> How about that then? See, never judge a book by its cover. Our lovely Nick... It's actually a bit of a monster on nights out. <laughs> and leads Donna Pennell astray, so she must That's be a monster. 
So that was actually trash. Okay. Co um, question 10. Coach Deb <laughs> once got run over by Mystic Mum. This is actually true. <laughs> Mum run my leg over once. I did. And then I laughed. kept it on the, my leg, the car, and laughed at me when I told her she was nearly breaking my ankle. There you go. I didn't. <laughs> it is the quiet ones, Leslie, I know. You'd never have thought it, Coach Nick. I can't wait till we're all allowed out again. I want a night out with Coach Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and very last one, question 11. Mystic Mum once wrapped sellotape round her head. Mum, is that true? I did. She when did. I, when my hair was really, really curly when I was young, I just wrapped it thinking I could like straighten it. it. Straighten it. Imagine how when she woke up in the morning, did it hurt? Yeah, when you pulled it off. <laughs> did it hurt? I tell you, I'll never do that again. What a stupid thing to do. Oh, well, there you go. You think you can do these things. Somebody told there me about it. There you go, it. beauty treatments from back in the day. Wrap a roll of sellotape around <laughs> your head. You'll wake up in the morning with straight hair. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the answers for the truth or trash round. Okay, on to the multiple choice round. So... Question one was Mum's favourite smoothie. And oh, the answer is, Mum? Tropical. Tropical. A. So A is the answer for question one. Question two. How many haircuts has Mark had? And he has had a haircut, funny enough. Seven for me. The coin works well. <laughs> oh, cool. Well done, Leslie. That's not bad at all. Seven no, out of 11. Good. That's Bloody good, good Leslie. Well Bravo. You got seven too. Would have been eight. Then told me about Nick. Oh, no, that was a bit of a one, wasn't it? Oh, Nick's one. I'd never have thought that. Hang on a minute. I've got a dog getting on my nerves. Get down, Bobby. Right. All right, ladies. So where are we? So Mark's had how, how many, many haircuts? Is it A, 2, B, 4 or C, 5? He's actually only had two haircuts. We even don't know if he's had two. Yeah, so it's A. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he told me. Mm. And I can't say he hasn't. <laughs> All right. So where did Jane come in the World Weightlifting Championships. Was this it? is unbelievable. First six, four, six, six. No, she's amazing. I know. So it was answer was B. B. Six. six. And that it's is good, in the World it? Olympic Weightlifting Ooh, Championships. That is. that is amazing. Well done, Jane. Bravo. You'll be coming first next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question four. The answer was C. Tony called her dog Belle because she just liked just the liked name. name. Not because she couldn't spell Bo. <laughs> she was going to call. Belle Bow, but she changed her mind. She just liked Belle, so there you have it. It was nice. Answer was C. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever. Coach Sarah has how many sweaty Betty sports bras? She's got I can't more. can't believe this. She's actually got 25. 25? I've only got two. <laughs> so the answer was B. I must have loads of money. No, she's not. She just got OCD. She just loves a new sports bra, <laughs> right, don't you? Okay. Just love a new sports bra, don't you, Sam? <laughs> All right. The answer to question six, Carla used to teach, was aqua aerobics. Aqua aerobics, same as me. It wasn't pole dancing. Oh, I said pole dancing. Or Pilates. Well, that would have been funny if it would have been pole dancing, you know? We'd have seen Carla in a whole different light, wouldn't we? <laughs> so the answer to question six was pole B. Uh, B, not pole dancing. Man. Sorry, aqua aerobics. <laughs> All right, so, next one. Coach Nick's favourite band. If you didn't get this, honestly, where have I you been? Get it. Where I have you get been? It. it was obviously C, take that. I Everybody knows like Nick loves Gary Barlow. So does my little sister, doesn't oh, she? Oh, yeah, mate, she, she loves, loves Gary yeah. Barlow. Almost as much as Nick, I believe. There you go. All right. Question eight was Michelle, our admin lady's favourite colour. And it was C, which is leopard, leopard print, print, which isn't really a colour, but hey-ho, she's allowed to like what she likes. There you go. So the answer to that was C. No, that was for Mark. Did you mean he only had two haircuts ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. He reckons he's had two haircuts this year. One his son done. I think one he done himself. There you go. But I would have said no. Mm. <laughs> but that's what he told me, so I can't turn around and say he's not telling the truth. There you go. But I would, yeah, I'm a bit suspect about that one. <laughs> All right, so where are we? So we're at Coach, Coach Katie. So what countries has Coach Katie worked in? And the answer was B, Sardinia, 
and Andorra. I reckon it's lies and all, Sarah. We'll take that up with him later. <laughs> Poor old Mark. Poor old Mark's getting right <laughs> slaughtered today. <laughs> Was he referring to the air in his head? Actually, he might not have been. <laughs> might have shaved his armpits, Carnan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Coach Katie has worked in Sardinia and Andorra. She does the skiing. She's bloody good at it, apparently, as well. I still want to know where Andorra is, though. No, I'm not sure. Either. Just no. shut up. I think it might be somewhere near Spain. Perhaps. Yeah, you think might that? be, yeah. Anyone know where Andorra is? <laughs> Can All anybody right. tell us? <laughs> Question 10. Coach Lucy, how many earthquakes has she been caught in? How's her luck, eh? It was answer was C. Six. Where the hell has she been? I can't believe that. Six earthquakes. She must have gone to Mexico a lot because that's the um, earthquake capital, I think. So there you go. The answer oh, was it? C. I didn't know that. All right. And the very final one. Who was the famous person that I trained? Rod Stewart. It was indeed Rod Stewart. And it's it was Rod Stewart. Near Spain. Oh, I thought it was Thank near Spain. You. There you go. Now, Rod Stewart, I've got to tell you this, he used to live locally and he used to come to our gym down at the Abbey, the council run gym. And I've got to say, he's a mean bugger because I personally trained him and he didn't pay me. No. And he never, ever paid me. He never pays anybody no. now, apparently. He still owes me to this day 40 quid. There you go. Ladies, I hope you've enjoyed our quiz. Couldn't think of nothing else to do. <laughs> So we're sort of scraping the barrel now. As I say, those answers were given by the people themselves. So I've got if, it's, if they said it's true, I've got a, I can't doubt them. How many did you get, ladies? Anybody get all of them correct? Tight get. He is a tight get. He is yeah. a tight get, Leslie. Honestly, mate. And he came in and he had a leopard print jacket on inside me sure would have liked that actually he had leopard print and he was he didn't even want to pay for to work for the entry he didn't pay me but i've heard this from a lot of people i know i couldn't believe it anybody. but one of our friends at um epping gym went on tour with him and used to be his personal trainer nick would know gary and um he couldn't do him one day so he gave him to me to do and i said to gary weeks later he ain't paid me he said he never pays me either unless i have unless i keep on at him <laughs> So there you go. So, ladies, did anybody get them all right? Mean and Scottish. <laughs> I don't know about the Scottish, but he's definitely mean. He is, he is Scottish. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if that means he's mean. <laughs> Seven each know. round. Not bad at all, ladies. They weren't easy oh, questions. Well done. Seven is good. Anything above seven? Anybody got more than seven? Mm, let's have a... I hope you've enjoyed our live today. As I say, it was a bit of fun. Just to mix it up a bit, do something different. We'll be back this time next week, won't we, Mum? Yeah. I have deleted it. What have you deleted? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, Sarah. Don't worry, mate. I'm sure no one's offended. He is bloody mean, though. OK. Well done. You didn't do well too well in the second round. How many did you get, Carnan? They were quite tough, to be fair. It wasn't usual facts. Katie Bynes, where's Andorra? We've re oh, seven and five. Not bad, oh, Lana. Not bad, not bad. We've realised that Andorra is a place on its own near Spain, Leslie. So there you go. <laughs> no offence to any Scotland. No, no, I'm no, sure no, they're not no, offended. No, no. Listen, mate, they couldn't be any tighter than the farmers up here, the Galley Hillbillies. My dad, honestly, you borrow a pound, he wants it back, doesn't he? And honestly, if you take yeah, a bit of money... interest on it and all. Yeah, if you take a bit of money out of his change pot, he bloody well knows it and all. <laughs> <laughs> you got six, Carnan. Not, not bad. Not, not bad. bad at all. Bad. Ladies, we're going to love you and leave you now. I hope you're having a great day. I hope to see you all soon when the gym opens. But until then, me and Mum will be back next week, live at one. See you later. See ya. Bye, Bye everybody.